Hi guys and welcome back. So Halloween is right around the corner and today I have another really simple really fun video. Today we're going to learn how to make sugar skulls. You can use the same pattern and just make regular skulls as well. You can add a key ring, turn this into a keychain or have it as a fun decoration around the house. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified every time I post a video. So let's get started. So here are all the supplies that you're going to need for this project. I'm using two different weights of yarn. I'm using medium four worsted weight yarn for the main body of the skull and then for the rest of the features I'm going to be using sport weight or any thin yarn. So I'm going to be using two different crochet hooks. For the thicker yarn, I'm going to be using 3.25 millimeter. And for the thinner yarn, I'm going to be using 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need some stuffing, a stitch marker, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. You're also going to need a little bit of black yarn for some of the features. So now let's get started with the project. For the first row, we're going to make a magic ring. So wrap the yarn across two fingers to create an X. Insert the crochet hook into the bottom. Pick up the top and twist. And then just pull up a loop. You have a magic ring ready. Into this magic ring, we're going to place six single crochets. Insert your crochet hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two. That's one. Two. Three. 4, 5 and 6. Now tuck the tail end of the magic ring to close it up and this finishes your first row. Now for row number 2, into each of the stitches we are going to place 2 single crochets or an increase. So into that first stitch we are going to go in with 1 and 2. Into the next one again 1 and 2 into the one after that one and two and you're going to do that six times all the way around until you have 12 stitches for this row now for the next row into the first stitch you're going to place one single crochet into the stitch after that you're going to place an increase or two single crochets one and two into the one after that again one into the one after that one and two and you're going to do this six times all the way around until you have 18 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place two single crochets one in the first stitch one in the second stitch into the third stitch and increase or one and two again one in the first stitch one in the next stitch into the third stitch and increase or one and two you're going to do this six times all the way around until you have 24 stitches for this row. Now for the next row, you're going to place three single crochets followed by an increase. So one, two, three single crochets in the fourth stitch and increase. And you're going to do this six times all the way around until you have 30 stitches for this row. Now in the next row, you're going to place 14 single crochets and into the 15th stitch, you're going to place an increase. 1 and 2 and you're going to do that one more time. So 14 single crochets in the last stitch, you're going to place an increase to bring your stitch count total to 32 stitches for this row. Now for the next row, you're going to place 15 single crochets followed by an increase two times all the way around until you have 30 four stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place 16 single crochets followed by an increase two times all the way around until you have 36 stitches for this row now for the next four rows you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 36 stitches for each of the rows now once you're done with the repeat rows this is what it should look like now we're going to do our first row of decreases so for that first place 4 single crochets, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we're going to do a decrease. So if you see each of the stitches has a V. We're going to pick up the part of the stitch which is facing towards us. So you're going to split and only pick up the part of the stitch facing towards us. 
go into the next stitch do the same thing again so you should have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two let's do that again place four single crochets now to do a decrease split the first stitch pick up only the loop towards you split the next stitch pick up only the loop towards you yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two you're going to do this six times all the way around until you have 30 stitches for this row now for the next row you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 30 stitches for this row now for the next row we're going to place three single crochets followed by a decrease six times all the way around until we have 24 stitches for this row so i'm done with my three single crochets let me show you to do a decrease again now for the next row you're going to place two single crochets followed by a decrease six times all the way around until you have 18 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place seven single crochets followed by a decrease two times all the way around until you have 16 stitches for this row now for the next four rows you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 16 stitches for each of the rows now once you're done this is what it should look like now you can go ahead and add some stuffing so you're going to push the stuffing all the way to the top if you're finding it difficult to push the stuffing in then you can use your crochet hook as well now you're going to thread up your black yarn we're going to go on the second last row in the row above that and make a line go across to the other side after a few stitches and repeat the same line again like this now you're going to flip your work over you're going to go underneath your stitches go under the stitch go all the way across to the other side under the other stitch we just placed and go back down now you're going to leave one stitch between each of your little teeth and then go ahead and make a vertical line leave a stitch again and make another vertical line like this leave another stitch another line and you're going to do this till the last one so for me that's right here So we have a little mouth which is formed. Now you can snip your yarn off. Just tie the two sides of the string together. You can cut this a little if you want to. And just tuck it on the inside. And now we're going to work on closing the skull up. So if you want to add a little more stuffing before you do that, you can do that too. I'm just going to add a little at the end. Just to make sure it's stuffed properly now I'm going to push my crochet hook back into that last stitch and now we're going to go into the front and the back of each of the stitches and place a slip stitch again go into the front go into the back place a slip stitch into the front into the back followed by a slip stitch and this is gonna help just sew your work together if you want you can do this with the yarn needle as well that's fine however you are more comfortable with it I just prefer doing it with the crochet hook and if you see this part is sewn together 
Now you can leave a tail for sewing on. Just snip your yarn off, pull it through and then you can hide this end. So now once you're done, this is what it should look like. Now we can go ahead and make the other features. So now we're going to make the nose. We're going to do the nose in a small heart and I'm going to be using sport weight yarn and a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to start with a magic ring again. Now you're going to chain two, one and two. Into the magic ring, you're going to place a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. That's one. Do that two more times. Two and three. Now you're going to place three single crochets. One, two, and three now you're going to chain one place a half double crochet again chain one again place three single crochets one two and three followed by three half double crochets one two and three now you're going to tug the tail end of the magic ring to just close it up so make sure that you close it properly and now you're going to chain one go into the center of the magic ring and place a slip stitch so now once you're done you're going to leave a long tail for sewing the heart on to the skull just pull it through if you see this is what it looks like now we're going to place it right on the center of the face where we want the nose to come and then sew this on once you've sewed the nose on this is what it should look like now let's make the eyes so i'm going to be doing the eyes in blue and white again with the thinner sport weight yarn we're going to start with the magic ring again and this time into the magic ring we're going to place 10 single crochets now you're going to tug the tail end of the magic ring to close it up we're going to go into that very first single crochet and place a slip stitch now take your scissors and just snip your yarn off pull it through now pick up your second color in my case that's going to be the white and I'm going to attach it to any one of the stitches just insert your hook into the stitch place the yarn in front pull it through chain two now into the next stitch you're going to place half double crochet so yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three now you're going to place a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, into the next stitch, a double crochet, into the same stitch, a half double crochet, chain one, into the stitch after that, a slip stitch. This completes one petal. Again, into that same stitch, half double crochet into the same stitch a double crochet into the next stitch a double crochet half double crochet chain one into the stitch after that a slip stitch let me show you that one more time into the same stitch where you just placed the slip stitch half double crochet double crochet into the next stitch double followed by a half double crochet chain one into the stitch after that a slip stitch go ahead and do that two more times once you're done and you've placed your slip stitch under the very first stitch that we made you can leave a long tail for sewing in snip your yarn off pull this through 
and that completes one of the eyes now these extra pieces which are there at the back except for the tail that you've kept for sewing on you can actually just snip these off and go ahead and make a second eye and we're going to have one which we're going to place right here and then one on the other side so let me make the other one and i'll show you what it looks like so here's your final sugar skull ready. It's really easy to make, works up very very quickly and you can add a key ring on top, turn it into a keychain or just have it as decoration around the house for Halloween. I really hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you liked the video, please share it with all your friends and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. Until next time, bye bye.